Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. September 15th, man. Be impeccable with your word. Release the need to rewrite. When you believe something, you assume you're right. You may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 129, Nasdaq's off 150, S&P's down 41, gold. Gold contract trading down 35.80 cents at 16.73 an ounce. We got silver down 39 cents, 19 dollars 17 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off 361, 84 dollars 87 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note right now, trading down 14 ticks at yearly highs. The 10-year is yielding, folks, 3.453. The 30 down 17 at 134.14 in King Dollar. King Dollar just won't back down. Up 66 ticks, trading 109, 726. The euro is at 99, the yen's at 143, and the British pound is at 114 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, if we take a look at the SPY first, you're going to see that the SPY is approaching, excuse me, a potential B point of an ABC structure down. Uh, bottom line, I don't think we're going to head it out here today. Uh, that B point is 388.42. We hit 390. You'd need 76 million shares. It's intriguing. So on the SPY, you can see we're at 60. So the SPY actually has light volume as we're coming down. You know, because it, it, let, let's picture that if we were right next to the B point right now, I don't see the SPY doing 16 million shares today. That's the bottom line. So the SPY... You pull them back. Now, you got to remember something that option expiration is tomorrow. And the expiration tomorrow is a monster. So, $3.2 trillion expiration. And on top of that, what you have is that the option market makers were on the wrong side of this, folks. What they had to end up doing, that's why you saw the, the acceleration uh, on the way down, because they, bottom line, they had a buy stock hand of a fist because of the fact that. Uh, to get Delta neutral again because the move was so extraordinary on the way down uh, on Monday, on Tuesday rather. So NDX 100, different ball game. NDX 100, bottom line, you broke the B point out here. The B point is a 290.87. We went to 290.60. You need a volume out here, 57 million. You already get 47. You know, so I suspect we're going to get 10 million. If we don't, it'll be interesting. It, it really will be interesting. Notes and bonds. Let's go to the note and bond market because what you have here, this is accelerating and accelerating very quickly. Um, and, you know, we know ABC structures are straight, the A to B and the C to D are straight line moves. We broke the B point. We did that on Monday. Bottom line, you get the acceleration. It still continues into lower price. And this one here, let me get this one. Let's see. It's one... Almost 121. Yeah, six six bucks. I'm ballparking this, but that that's amazing, man. That brings it to one zero zero. That's where this thing is going, man. That's how that's set up. If we go into the dollar, we take a look at the dollar index. What you have with the dollar out here, the bottom line, is that this is not backing off. You know, you had that wide price spread on Monday. Um, you're laying right there, so. The, the longer that we stay over the price point, the first high, the first high uh, was the 102, 109 rather, 294. The higher the probability is that you will actually get up into that 121 area. Now let's go take a look at the oil market. So the, what's happening with the oil market, as is everything, they're basically selling this down. Why? Because you get interest rates higher, you get the dollar higher. Um, you know, and what you have here now, this is an anemic bounce inside the oil market. Let's pull this up because, I accept it. Look at that, though. See, this is interesting. So you get a sell down here, but this is telling me the oil is going to go back topside again. So the volume characteristic inside this sell today is, is light beyond belief, folks, uh, inside the oil market. So that's that's telling me that, guess what, this thing, you know, is probably going to, so, so let's just go back for about a week. 
The first low that we made, we made it on at 81.50. That volume there was uh, 381 million. Then you tested it with 340 million. Now what we're doing, you're backing into, you're backing into 305,000 as well as the 381,000. There's not a lot of sellers there, man. There's not a lot of sellers. So, you know, that, that basically, you know, we'll see whether you can get a rejection of lower price. Uh, but you certainly don't have the type of sellers that are in there in that oil contract in order to basically sustain lower price. Some of the higher volume, we just broke out, broke out down the lows, folks. So, yeah, let's go back to the NQs because this ABC wants structure right now. If we take a look at this. You're at 290.46. I forget what it is. 290 something. It already broke it once, but if it closes underneath it, it's going to be actually more positive. 290.87. Yeah, I did 290.46. Because you got to remember something in option expiration, also, you're going to have monster volume. And what I've learned over the course of years is that the bottom line, no matter which way that volume is going, guess what? Even an option, option expiration, that's where the market wants to go. You have Apple uh, down 345. Uh, you get, uh, let's see. Amazon's off two and a half, two dollars thirteen cents. We got uh, Snap up thirty seven cents. Uh, Adobe, that's taking a hit, man. Let's go look at Adobe. Oh, but Adobe's down sixty two dollars, uh, and you're trading at three oh eight. And I suspect this has gone down. Yeah, here we go, man. Look at this. This is, this is, this is quite a hit. Wow, man. Look at this hit. You're talking about, you're talking about a. 50, almost a 60% hit. Man, also, you know what you're talking? Look at this, folks. You want to see something crazy, man? This is going after a high volume low at 255 from the March COVID start. This is, this, this is, this is, this, this chart is so classic, it is blowing my mind, man. And what you can get out of this chart is this. Number one, you can get out of the chart that, yeah, you, you know, you can go higher with lighter volume, man. But keep an eye on where the volume is, man, because who would ever think that you get, a, you get Adobe, who's making money hand over fist, can go from $700, $699, and now you get another eight. Yeah, <laughs> this is good one after high volume low, man. Wow, that is a trip. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 198. NASDAQ's off 244. S&P's off 52. We'll come right back. <laughs>